Well, it's Friday, and like every Friday, I wanted to give my weekend tips. Uh, this morning, I was in Ocean County, New Jersey, and then I shot over to Delaware County, Pennsylvania. So a lot of driving this morning for clients and their families. With that said, um, many of us will be driving this weekend. It is going to be a nice fall weekend. It's raining right now. It was raining pretty heavily as I was driving through both states. But luckily, uh, I didn't see any accidents on the roads, but hopefully um, no one will have it, any issues driving this weekend. So if you are traveling through Pennsylvania and New Jersey, like I always said, if you are stopped for suspicion of DUI in Pennsylvania or DWI in New Jersey, you do, you do not want to refuse the chemical test, whether it be a blood test or a breathalyzer test in Pennsylvania or the ALCO test in New Jersey. Refusing that test will never help your situation. It will only make it more difficult. And if anything, it will only complicate your case for your criminal defense lawyer. If you are stopped, remember you aren't obligated to answer any of the officer's questions, but always be respectful and polite. Give the officer your license, your registration, but you're not obligated to answer any questions about where you're going or where you've been. If the officer is going to arrest you for suspicion of DUI or DWI, he or she is going to do that regardless of what you tell them. Even if they say, look, if you just tell me what happened, I will go easy on you. The officer simply does not have that type of authority. He or she has to arrest you if he or she believes you are under the influence of any drugs or alcohol. Remember that warrantless searches are permissible in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. If the officer wants to search your vehicle, do not get in his or her way, but simply make it clear that you're not giving consent to search that car. In the event the officer finds any contraband, whether it be a legal gun, drug, or whatever, you don't need to make any statements, simply remain silent and let your attorney handle it in court. Remember that at, at a preliminary hearing in Pennsylvania, it is your attorney's first opportunity to have charges dismissed or downgraded. Remember that with regards to legal search and seizure, whether it be in Pennsylvania or New Jersey, your attorney has a lot of tools available to him or her. And uh, these are often the strongest offenses in cases involving legal guns or firearms. Remember that your Pennsylvania gun does not belong in New Jersey. It is almost impossible to get a license to carry in New Jersey. So your permit to carry in Pennsylvania will do you no good in New Jersey. If you are traveling, whether it be moving or simply transporting your gun to and from the range because you're doing some shooting this weekend, remember that the gun has to be kept in a gun box. It has to be secure and the ammunition has to be kept in a separate container. I had a case this weekend in Philadelphia, I'm sorry, this week in Philadelphia, we had that similar situation where a client was stopped moving and the gun was in a rifle case. The officer stopped the car, arrested our client, but at the preliminary hearing level in Philadelphia, the judge dismissed the case for lack of evidence because our client had the weapon in a gun case and was traveling correctly with it. So if you have questions about any type of issue in Pennsylvania or New Jersey this week, and remember we answer our calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week in Pennsylvania, 715-755-9000 um, in New Jersey, 856-793-7429. The website, gambonelaw.com, a tremendous resource for you and your family. Again, please be safe this weekend. Please enjoy the weekend responsibly. Don't drink and drive, but if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania. 856-793-7429 in Jersey. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you all soon.